This is a very quick video about my number one tip for animating things in Fusion. And really, I guess in any program, but I'll show you specifically how to do it in Fusion. The concept is important. So we have our very professional graphic here, and we're gonna have this cat picture kind of fly in and fly out. I'm doing this with a transform node, and I'm gonna animate this transform. I'll go to the point where I want the cat picture to be in frame, let's say frame 15 or so. And I'll go up here to the center and click on this little diamond and that's gonna set a keyframe. So I'm telling Fusion that I want this cat picture to be right here at 15 frames. And I'll go back to frame zero and let's kind of drag this off screen. So I'll just drag it in like this. Now it flies in like that. And then towards the end, we'll have this start here and then we'll just have it fly out the other way like that. So now we have it coming in. We look at the cat for a second and then it flies out. So here's the tip. When you have something animating in, you always want it to slow down and stop. You don't want it to just come in here and just instantly stop. It looks bad. This looks like a little kid animated it or something. I mean, also it's a picture of a cat, but even this picture of a cat, we can make look more professional if we just have this slow down before it stops. The way to do that in Fusion is in the spline panel. In the upper right-hand corner, this left button that says spline, if we click that, that'll bring up our spline panel. This is a graph of the animation for anything that's animated in our comp. <laughs> I just realized half of this is on the merge and half of this is on transform. No big deal, I'll reset merge, and we're gonna animate this with our transform. Boop, there's a good cat. Anyways, in the spline panel, it'll list anything that's animated, and if you click a checkbox, it will show you a graph of the animation. All you have to do is pick the keyframes where you'll see your image on screen and select those, which are gonna be this frame at frame 15 and this one here at frame 82. And what we need to do is smooth out these little handles. So if I grab this handle and drag this out like this, we want a really smooth transition into this flat part and then a smooth transition out like that. One thing you can do is select both of these and just hit F on the keyboard and that will flatten out those handles. And now look at this. This comes in, oh, it's so much better. Look at that, oh, nice. Comes in, it slows down before it stops. Oh, we can even slow this down a little more. If I grab this handle and just drag it out a little more, it'll fly in a little faster, but it'll slow down a little more gradually. Yeah, oh, look at that butter. That's nice. That's the big difference. This, even with the cat photo, it's like, oh yeah, this is intentional. But if they aren't smoothed out, oh, it just looks bad. <laughs> Don't do this. Grab those keyframes, hit F, close the spline panel. It takes two seconds and it makes your animation so much nicer. Maybe I'll just even just push this out a little more, have that even more gradual. And oh, looks so good, so much better. So that's the tip, smooth out your keyframes and your animations will be so much better. My name's Casey, I help content creators learn how to use Fusion and make amazing things. I have a free video course, the Fusion Survival Guide, it's available in the description below. Make sure to check that out. All right, and I hope this was helpful for you. Just a nice little, little nugget, just a little wisdom nugget, a little business nugget.